Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Ferreira and I am a PhD candidate in computer science at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I am the developer of this music emotion annotation tool and this tutorial is intended to guide you through the three annotation steps described in this page. In order to make this tutorial as short as possible, I'm going to annotate only a small part of one piece. Let's first take an overall look at the annotation tool. On the right hand side, in red, you have the instructions to the interface that you can use to annotate the piece. As it clearly states, you can press and hold the point at a given position to annotate the piece. Once you release the point, the piece stops playing and the task also stops. Moreover, you can click anywhere in the circle to move the point to that position without annotating the piece. Also, on the right hand side you have the definitions of valence and arousal as well as the progress bar. This bar represents how far you are from finishing the current step. In this case, the calibration step. Let me now go ahead and finish the calibration step. Remember that the goal of this step is to pick the starting point of the annotation. Now that you are familiar with the tool and that you have picked a starting point, go ahead and annotate the piece. As the window now highlights, you will start annotating the piece from where you left the point during the calibration step. It is important to keep in mind that, normally, music pieces do not change emotions very drastically. Now that you've finished the annotation, you have the option to re-annotate the piece or move to the next one. I am satisfied with my annotation, so I will confirm it. Since this tutorial only has one piece, I'm done with the annotation and now the last part of the task consists of filling out a profile questionnaire. Thank you very much for your help.